first thing you want to do is add the wax recess to the bottom of your bowl. And what you need to do is think about, as the glaze comes around the surface, what is the bottom? Is the bottom going to be here? Is it going to be starting on the flat part? How far out do you want this wax resist to go? Because wherever you put the wax resist, no glaze will stick and it will burn away in the kiln. So it will then reveal a white base once again, just like this. Um, and basically this protects the bottom of your pot from glaze so that when it's placed into the cabinet, or I'm sorry, into the kiln, then it won't stick to the shelf. This is a common practice with um, actual potters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, with just a regular pencil, outline where I want my bottom to go. And I'm gonna make sure that any area that's sitting flat on the surface absolutely positively has wax resist on it because no glaze can go onto the bottom of the piece or it will stick to the kiln shelf and that's bad news so i'm just going to give myself a nice little border and pencil so that i know where to glaze up to this is starting to curve here so i know that that's not going to sit flat on the surface so i'm just kind of holding it up on an angle so that i can check it and then once it's good, I'm gonna use the wax re resist very carefully. Um, if I put any wax resist on the outside of the surface, no glaze will stick there. So I wanna make sure not to drip. So when I dip my paintbrush in, I am going to wipe off the excess so that I'm not gonna drip as I carry it over to my piece. So again, I'm gonna dip it in, wipe it off and come over. All you need is a single layer of wax resist. And you, again, you want to paint it right up to that pencil line. And if you go over the pencil line, it's not the end of the world. However, you will not have any glaze stick there. So you want to make sure you're also not dripping um, down the side like right now. Like if I had too much on my brush as I'm applying it, it could potentially drip down the side of the piece and I don't want that to happen either. Sometimes um, potters will actually use wax resist to create designs on their pieces or to block areas out. And um, you'll notice that on one of the videos um, that you have to watch in Brightspace, you'll notice that the woman does that to some of her designs. She ends up glazing. And it's a pretty cool practice. Um, so there it is. So um, one layer is sufficient. Once it's completely dry, I can um, pick my piece over. The other thing you have to watch out for is if you have wax resist on your fingertips and you touch your piece, even if it's dry, it will leave wax on it. So make sure you don't touch your piece until you wash your hands. Uh, and then the brush, you just want to rinse off underneath the water or the wax becomes um, hardened on the paintbrush and ruins the paintbrush. These paintbrushes are only for wax resist. You do not want to use any other paintbrushes for the wax resist, nor do you want to use the paintbrushes that were used with wax with glaze, or you're going to screw up the glaze and screw up your piece. So that's it. You're going to do this on the bottom of all your pieces.